the iPhone 7. It wasn't a major update from the iPhone 6s, but the original plan was completely different. It was expected to be as big as the iPhone 10. The phone didn't have a physical home button anymore. It was going to have the Taptic Engine, which would emulate the press of a button, hinting at the eventual iPhone 10 release where we're just getting rid of buttons altogether. We were also going to get a dual lens camera on the Plus model. This was the beginning of the cameras sticking out. There were so many rumors that even one of them was claiming that they were backing down on the dual lens and it wouldn't have happened, but of course, they were just rumors. The feedback on that type of stuff was really negative, but obviously in present day, people have learned to live with it. The iPhone 7 also did update the antenna bands to wrap around the iPhone, unlike the 6S and earlier. Also, another rumor that never happened was that the iPhone 7 was going to have four speakers, two on the front, two on the back. And on top of the iPhone 7 and Plus, we were also going to get a third model, according to the rumors, called the 7 Pro. And of course, once again, this also didn't end up happening. And Apple's plan was to produce 72 million iPhone units for customers and by the end of 2016 they had up to 50 million units sold for the 7 and 25 million units for the 7 plus so that was pretty accurate in present day we have over 159.9 million units sold of the iphone 7 in 2016 the iphone 7 costed around 649 obviously storage options increased the price where the iphone 7 plus was costing around 769 the iphone 7 also bumped up to 32 gigabytes of storage rather than 16 as the base option the second release being 128 gigabytes and the third option being 256 gigabytes today you can find these iphones anywhere from 100 to 300 dollars on various different websites the iPhone 7 got a new color added to the lineup known as Product Red, and it looked fantastic. One of the biggest, most popular color choices for the iPhone was known as Jet Black. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus were the first official phones that had a IP67 rating, which meant that it was water resistant. This meant that the iPhone could have been under 3 feet of water up to 30 minutes without major damage. Lastly, we got to go through the most obvious change, which was the removal of the headphone jack. One of the positives of the removal of the headphone jack was the fact that Apple was helpful with giving an adapter with this. At the time, it wasn't a popular choice, but in the long run, the iPhone 7 became the most popular phone in history, being one of the most used phones in 2020. Subscribe for more.